All right, y'all. Welcome back to Just the Facts. My name's Jimmy, and I'm with my co-host. My name's Eric. And today we got a very, very special video today. Um, but first off, I wanted to say, um, go like, comment, share, and subscribe on all of our recent videos. We've been coming out with more um, as of late, and we're going to continue to come out with more since um, spring break is just around the corner. So um, if y'all have any suggestions as well, make sure y'all leave that in the comments, and we'll, we'll take that into consideration. But without further ado, let's get into this video, man. So... As you know, the NBA season's heating up. We're getting closer and closer to playoff time, a little over a month away. And that means the MVP conversation is also heating up. So, obviously, the top two candidates are uh, Giannis and LeBron. So, that's what I really wanted to talk about today. They, they played last night. The Lakers won. It was a pretty good game, actually. Um... But the Lakers ended up pulling ahead late, so that that brought up the uh, that brought up the idea of talking about the MVP because to me it's it's getting it's getting closer and closer. Um, obviously, it's been Giannis pretty much all season long, and we've had guys like Harden, we have we've had Luca, we've had um, even Damian Lillard for a period of time. But it's really seeming to come down to uh, Giannis and LeBron. So, um, I, for me, obviously it was Giannis all the way. But now that these last couple of weeks have went by, the Bucks have kind of struggled a little bit. Um, they have they've had like three games. Three of their past four or five games have they've had they've scored under 100 points. So. That's rare to see because they're a good offensive team as well as a great defensive team. And Giannis has had a couple iffy performances. Um, the most notable one is the the one against Miami where they, they basically shut them down. Um, as of right now, I'd have probably – I'd probably flip to LeBron as my MVP, MVP for now um, with a slim lead just because he's, he's doing it at the age of 35, man. Like, that's just insane. And, I mean, he's just been doing it all year long consistently. Um, I'll give him the slight edge as of right now over Giannis. Um, yeah, I'd give him the slight edge. Of, as you said, he's 35. And um, I think really when we're in, this, we're in this time of the year, close to playoffs, you know, MVPs, MVP race is heating up and you really have – those two, three solid guys that really have the best chances of winning, all about the same amount. And um, I think, I think games, I think games like the Bucks and the Lakers that we just saw, I think games like that should really be held really high, highly accountable of, because you have two MVP yeah. players playing up against each other, and I think the team that wins and the t- and the player that plays better, that should really be a heavy factor into who's winning it and who's not also, you know, what they've been doing up to the, up to that moment during the season. And and they also beat the Bucks yesterday. Yeah. And they're, I think as of right now, they're like three and one. No, they're three and oh right now against uh, top six defensive teams in the league right now after all-star break. So that's another good thing to look into. Yeah. Um, one one negative thing people want to say about LeBron and his uh, MVP race candidacy is that he's playing with another another potential MVP candidate, Anthony Davis, and that was uh, another reason why I had Giannis ahead of of LeBron all of this time was because I mean Giannis has Middleton. Middleton's a nice player, obviously an All Star, but he's not Anthony Davis. Like Anthony Davis has scored forty on fifteen on every any given night, man. You know what I mean? And he's the MVP candidate of his own. I think he's emerging as one. Um, but with that being said, I wanted to transition to um, who, after, obviously we know it's LeBron and Giannis, who would you have in that little second tier, I guess, of MVP candidates? Uh, for me, really, the two guys that stick out is Westbrook and, and Tatum to me. Tatum. Mm. Yeah, how to put my boy Tatum in there. For me, I'd probably put, I'd probably have Kawhi and Anthony Davis up there, um, just because Paul George has been out 
for a, for a good amount of games this season, and Kawhi's just been really, really consistent. He's had his most 30-point games uh, this year as well. So, and also Westbrook has has emerged probably in that top five for me as at this at this point in time. Um, obviously, the Rockets play so much better with him than without him, as you can see with the the, the terrible uh, game against the Hornets today. So, um, I hope Russ stops taking rest on back to backs uh, for the rest of the season, so we can just go full force. Um, but yeah. Anything else you wanted to? Uh, like you said about Westbrook, yeah, of course you're gonna have him up there. I mean, he he makes he makes he makes y'all better in every aspect of the game. He makes y'all better in. Yeah, and I think Westbrook's the the main centerpiece of this offense of this team now. Um, yeah, I see him. I see him more than yeah. I see him as a more important piece than uh than than uh, Harden. Yeah, because I the, feel I feel like he has to play better. I feel like. I feel like for the Rockets, I feel like Westbrook has to play better than Harden. That yeah. that yeah, that that that's how I see it. Yeah, because if Harden can score forty on any night, like obviously, but if Russ is gonna shoot seven of twenty three or something like that, and with six turnovers, then um, I'm pretty sure the Rockets will have no chance of winning. But if Russ if maybe Harden struggles a little bit, but Russ has 30 points, nine assists, and is pretty efficient, um, I think I think the Rockets have a really legit chance of of maybe knocking off one of the LA teams. Dame's pretty much fallen out for me. Um, Luca has fallen a little bit for me. Uh, who else? I'll give Tatum some love. I'll, I'll give Tatum some love in there. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. For me, for Luca, it's kind of like it's not really he's like falling off. It's kind of really everyone else that's been right. in the MVP race. They've they've played better. Luca's played the same, and everyone else is everyone else has been playing better. Been better, better. I see that. Yeah, I can see that. But other than that, man, we're um we're gonna come out with a NBA or a weekly NBA video soon. Probably Monday. Um, trying to make it Monday. Um, you have more coming up as well. Jason Tatum video. Like you said, tell what you got going on with your road to fame. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know when this video will come out. If it comes out tomorrow, which will be Saturday. No, Sunday. tomorrow will be Sunday. Yeah, my bad. Um, I don't know. I don't know when it will come out, but maybe of that same day. If this if uh if that video isn't already out, I'm gonna have a road to fame on uh Duncan Robinson. Yep. Uh early life to NBA player. Yeah. And I guess that's a new series we're gonna be starting up. Um, yeah. so whenever that comes out, y'all, make sure y'all watch it and make sure y'all give us the, the um right feedback on it. So we know what to improve on, what to change, what to add. And all that good stuff. Um, any tips, suggestions, anything like that, and or any even any like players you'd like to see, because we want we want to make this a series. Uh, we want to make that road to fame a series. Um, and y'all can just let us know which player y'all would want to see next, and we will get it to y'all. Yeah, we wanna uh, we wanna make this a fun. We wanna make making videos like this is always fun. I was doing research on I was doing research on it earlier, and it's. It's a fun thing to do, and we always want to just make things as interesting as possible. Oh, yeah. Of course. And um, feedback just leads to more of that. Oh, yeah, man. For sure. And um, make sure you go follow our Instagram, just the facts, just dot the dot facts. Um, I'll F-A-X, leave it in the description. Of course. Yeah, F-A-X. We're different. <laughs> like, we're different breeds, right? Yeah. We're different. All right. So, F-A-X. Um, make sure y'all follow that. Make sure you follow our Twitter, Just the Facts one And um, we'll come out with more stuff on there as well pretty soon. This is Jimmy. And I'm Eric. And we out. Peace. Peace.